All right, Bobby and I will have outside containment responsibility. Jack and Demetrius will take the center, and then the hammer will shoot the gap and force them right into our trap. They'll never know what hit them. Nice plan. One problem. The hammer's N.A. What are you talking about? He's not available. He wouldn't miss this. He's working an undercover. Get him out. I tried. The Baltimore office said no. Come on, Mike. Ah. Just tell him it's for the weekend. I did. They say he's in too deep. We're just going to have to do without him. Oh, oh why? Looks like a big operation. You have no idea. People, where is your fighting spirit? This is war. 60 minutes of grueling gridiron combat. Wait a minute. This is about a football game? Not just any football game. FBI versus DEA. Better known as the tussle for Myrtle's girdle. Flag football, seven aside, two women on the field for each team at all times, and the winner gets to keep the coveted trophy. So who's this hammer guy? Agent Daniel Hamner, AKA the hammer. Linebacker for Notre Dame, class of 94. Those DEA blokes don't stand a chance lining up against that yobbo. Yeah, and now we have to replace him somehow. People. Let's just remember who we are. We can do this, with or without our secret weapon. I say we shall never surrender Myrtle's girdle to those pathetic G-Men wannabes from the DEA. Not on my watch! Yeah! <laughs> Someone take this on. I think I pulled something off. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's all right, I'll walk off. You okay there, Coach? Yeah, no, I'm good. I don't suppose you could open the door for me, Levi. Let me help you with that. Ah! Oh, oh! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sue Thomas, meet uh, Eve Gaylord. She's joining us for dinner tonight. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Eve and I met at a seminar a few years ago, and we stayed in contact by email. People usually say they want to get together, but they never do. Eve has had some concerns about what's been going on at her office. Where do you work? Ever heard of Altatech? Big company. My dad bought some of their stock. You might want to tell them to sell it. That's what a friend of mine in the company told me to do with all of my Altatech stock and my pension. Next day, I found out he was leaving. It didn't make sense to me, so I decided to dig a little deeper. Sales invoices from one of the smaller companies we own. Only there's no inventory on the goods they supposedly sold. No record of cost, quantity, or delivery. I'm afraid that's just the tip of the iceberg. I've come to believe that this kind of dishonest bookkeeping is rampant at Altatech. Why do you think no one else has spoken up about this? No one would know. It's part of the mentality. They drill into you that those are just creative, aggressive strategies, ways to win. It wasn't until I looked closer, much closer, that I understood what was really happening. I suspect that the ones that do know have either rationalized it, profited by it, or maybe they're scared. Why are you telling me about this? Um, why don't you just sell and get out? I'm not gonna lie to you. I've thought about doing that. Why didn't you? Because the people who work there are my friends. People have their whole lives wrapped up in it. Not just their livelihood, but their pension plan. If Altatech collapses, what happens to them? I'd like to show these documents to my team at the FBI. You have no idea how much I hope I'm wrong about this. Never see the seven wonders That'll be alright Should my tender heart be broken I will cry those teardrops from knowing I will be just fine Cause nothing changes who I am
go over documents at the Securities and Exchange Commission and it seems the top dogs at Altitech are cashing out their stocks as fast as their little paws can pitter-patter, including the CEO, Mr. Brian Wells. But doing it in a manner that won't send up warning signals. As all the earmarks of a classic case of cooking the books, Altitech pumps up their sales figures, try to look like the next Microsoft, then the big boys get out while the getting's good. At the expense of the little guys. Yep, quaint little thing called insider trading, which nobody could ever accuse me of. That's the way my stock's been going down the tubes. The same day CEO Wells went on closed circuit TV and told all his employees he thought Altitech was a great buy at the current price, he sold his biggest block of stock to date. So we got a case, right? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, but we have all these documents. Yeah, they give me every reason to believe that Mr. Wells and his cronies are running this company in a manner destined to make it fail, but we need concrete evidence of deliberate deception and a direct link to those we think are perpetrating the fraud. No doubt I've tried to isolate themselves as much as possible. Well, I think it's a safe bet we won't find Mr. Wells' signature on any of these. These guys hide things like magicians. Tara, find out everything you can about Altitech. All the pies they've got their fingers in. Heading for the kitchen. Bobby, hit the SEC again, but mix in some requests for other companies. We don't want to tip anyone off just yet. We're going to need subpoenas. Why don't I get on that? Now, your source is going to become invaluable, but before we move ahead with her, we need to check her out. You want me to investigate Eve? She was the one who brought us this in the first place. People do things for all sorts of reasons. If she's got an axe to grind, we need to know about it. I'm gonna need a rush on this. This temp employment authorization for Darla Hitchens. Why yeah. does that name sound familiar? Oh, probably because I busted her six months ago. Stolen car parts record. Now I remember you chased her on foot halfway to Bethesda. Mm. Oh, I get it. She runs fast, so you're putting her on payroll just so she can play in the football game? Is the correct answer. <laughs> oh, you guys. Pulling a ringer out of lockup, that's pathetic. Well, she's an informant now. She has a formal relationship with the Bureau. With Darla and, of course, yourself, we've got our women covered in uh, pretty good shape. Excuse me? What about some of the other women who actually work in this office? Oh, you mean like Tippy Toes Tara? The only woman in the history of ballet school to break not only her own ankle, but those of three others as well in one fateful pirouette? No, she's agreed to be in charge of the Gatorade Brigade. Yeah. Not too much risk there. Well, what about Sue? She's an athlete. Please, we're trying to win this game. No offense, but she wouldn't even be able to hear the signals. Nobody well, understands your signals anyway. You better on offense or defense? Offense. I'd rather attack than react. I like your strategy. I learned it from the vicious beast. Oh, Levi, it's too bad you can't play. We could use a vicious beast. <laughs> Excuse us. I don't want to pull rank or anything, but I was voted team captain. Yeah, I took another vote. We want Sue. And you could be voted out. Just think. She could be our new secret weapon. You have a point. It could come in handy to be able to read the lips of the quarterback in the opposing team's huddle. Tell her to be at practice at four. Uh, Jack, I pulled up Eve's records. Very impressive. MBA, quick promotion at every company she'd worked for. I'm sensing a butt. The job she had before Altratech involved a lawsuit when she left. Did you give documents from your place of business to an FBI employee named Sue Thomas? Yes, I did. Did you falsify those documents? No. Have you ever been fired from a job for personal reasons? No. Have you ever used supplies from your place of employment for your personal use? Yes. How'd she do? Well, there are a few places where her answers indicated stress reactions, notably when I asked her about being passed over for promotion. I don't think she likes her employers very much. Not liking a boss doesn't mean she's lying. I believe for the most part she's telling the truth. We're gonna want you to wear a body wire, tape some conversations. Why can't I just tell you what I find out? That's hearsay. We need solid proof. There's one more thing I have to ask you about your work history. You were involved in a lawsuit with the previous company. First you give me a lie detector and now this? If I were paranoid, I might think you don't trust me. It's standard procedure. We have to take a lie detector ourselves on a regular basis. I am passionate about what I do. Some people don't like that. I can't just go along to get along, if you know what I mean. My first company tried to fire me because of it. I sued, they settled. 
Is there anyone else who may be feeling the same way you are about what's happening at the company? Like your friend who told you to sell the stock? His name is Harold Banning. But if you don't think I'm chatty enough, I think you'll find I'm Oprah compared to him. Why did you leave Autotech, Mr. Banning? I signed an exit agreement. One of the conditions is I can't talk about that. We know about the phony sales to boost IPOs. We have documents and we know that you know about it. I saw things were getting loose on the accounting side. I said something about it. They gave me a promotion, basically to stay and keep quiet, but I didn't want to be involved. I don't know that much. What do you know? I don't have to talk to you. But I'll give you this. There's an investment company called Grenon. That's a good place to start. Grenon? It's some sort of partnership the company set up to do business overseas. Do you think you can find out more? I don't know. It's Tim Park's baby. That group is very tight. They don't like it when you snoop around outside your area. I know, but you were the one who told me that a lot of people could get hurt if Altatech goes down the drain. I'll see what I can find. There's our gal. The legendary Sue Thomas, FBI. You know, they forgot to mention that Agent Thomas is kind of hot. That's a bonus. Yeah. You sure she's the right way to go? Oh, yeah. Young, impressionable rookie. Eager to prove herself? She's perfect. Perfect. Go, 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 go! go. On him, on him! Woo! Oh. Hey, get the bad! Get the game! Let's do it! Hey, how'd it go with Eve? Okay, she's scared. Yeah, wouldn't you be? So how's practice? It is brutal. Miles, the merciless, is working us like dogs. Sorry, no offense. Oh. Okay, come on, people. Come on, huddle up, huddle up. Okay, did I mention that if he blows that stupid whistle at me one more time, they're gonna have to surgically remove it from his windpipe? You're 45 minutes late, Thomas. Sorry, I had a meeting. I guess I need one of those belts. Look, you really want to help this team? Then go over there, help Tara mix up some Gatorade, and see how well you can read our lips from the sidelines. I don't think I can do that. Oh, uh, well, we can get you some binoculars or... No, I, I can see them well enough. But I don't think that would be in the spirit of fair play. Miles! Let's go! We're growing old out here. Not so much for our secret weapon. Go, go, go. All right, Eve was right. Grennan is the umbrella company for a number of partnerships, headed up by Brian Wells' handpicked guy, Timothy Parks. He's also known at Altitech as the golden boy. And gold is the appropriate word. Now, from what we can piece together, Altitech runs a ton of cash through Grennan, and it looks like they're doing it to hide some big operating losses. Circular collateralization, basically. In English, please. Okay. Um, let's say I have a lumber yard, and you have a lumber yard. <laughs> Sorry, I just I had a visual review in a, uh, a workshop. One of those name patches there, and I just, um... <laughs> All right. Now, I sell two by fours exclusively. You sell two by sixes exclusively. Now, it's a lousy time for lumber yards, and we're both doing zero business. So, I call you up, and I propose a deal. I'll sell you some two by fours. You sell me some two by sixes. Now, we haven't actually sold to any real customers, but on paper, it looks like a hot salesman. Perhaps just a tad unethical. And in this case, it's even worse because my lumber yard was set up by you for the singular purpose of doing this sort of deal with you. They're basically just moving the money around in surplus. Yeah, okay, but is it illegal? Technically, no, unless... They're using those phantom profits to inflate the company's stock price for their own gain. Which, it appears, is exactly what Wells and Parks are doing. Now, while they hype up their stock to their employees, creating a phony stock price, they're quietly selling off their shares and packing their golden parachutes. Right, -o. well, I reckon we should just wire up Eve, send her back inside, see who she can get saying what, get on tape. That's not gonna happen. Eve's boss called her into his office about an hour ago and fired her. I'm 
I'm speaking to you from the flower island of Kauai. And how appropriate, considering that our bold and innovative marketing strategies are truly beginning to blossom. Welcome to today's edition of Lifestyles of the Rich and Shameless. Today, I'm more confident than ever about Altitech. And you should be too. Brian Wells' quarterly speech to the investors and shareholders circa last week. Uh, he and his team were on a business trip. According to the hotel's records, they spent 50 grand a day on champagne, caviar, and adult entertainment, all in the company's tab. Man, we are in the wrong line of work. The luau's over, kids. With Eve out of commission, I say there's no reason for us to hold back any longer. I want to thank you for coming out and alerting us to these very real accounting concerns. We will begin an internal audit immediately. As you know, we have been in a very fast growth stage, and I admit, sometimes that can lead to some loss of quality control. So, business has been very good lately? Yes, it has. Really? There seems to have been a bit of belt tightening happening. That's inevitable in a company of this size. You always get a few who don't fit in. You're referring to Eve Gaylord? Well, that's one of the names. Let's put our cards on the table. We know you talked to her, and the fact is, Ms. Gaylord was dismissed as a result of routine performance review, as were many others in the last year. Unlike some bloated bureaucracies, we maintain high standards here. How exactly would you like us to proceed in helping you? We need to see any and all documents, computer files, and other records pertaining to this company's financial operations going back five years. Well, that may take some time to pull together, but I'm sure we can do it. Sam? Yes, I'll, I'll get right on that. You should have seen them lose, lying right to our faces. Hey, where do you think you're going, mister? Levi, no, no. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I is this yours? Uh, well, it was. I'm so sorry, I, I can buy you another one. No, it's okay, my bad for, for leaving it down there. He started it, he might as well finish it, do you mind? There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, FBI. First time I've met a dog with higher security clearance than mine. I'm Scott Lundin. Sue Thomas. Sue Thomas? I know who you are. You're famous. This is my friend, Lucy. Hi. Hi. And Levi, you've already met. Yeah. Thanks for being so nice about that. You're welcome. Did you know sign? Not really, just enough to get myself into trouble. <laughs> Look at the time, you know? I've got to get going. It's nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. I really got to get back to the office too. Hoover building? I'm heading that way, I'll walk with you. How do you like working for the FBI? I like it. What do you do? I, uh, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I work for the DEA. Hmm. I hope I don't get you into trouble for talking to the enemy. We're playing you guys the big flag football game this weekend. I know. I'm on the team. No kidding. I guess I better be careful what I say in the huddle. So, where are you guys practicing? We're having a really bad time finding open fields. We've been using a park near Gallaudet. You by chance remember the name of it? Wilson Park, just off uh, M Street. We'll be there about noon tomorrow. But other than that, it's usually open. I don't think I know it, but thanks. I'll check it out. Now that I've met the competition, I think we're going to need some more practices. That was too easy. We set up a little surveillance, watch them practice a couple of times, get all their plays. Yeah. And then Myrtle's girdle will be coming home to Papa. <laughs> Give me some. I love it. Well, we made the front page. Did we do this? Eve? Why would she do that? Publicity? Maybe she wants to file another lawsuit. 
Or maybe that's what Architect wants it to look like. Eve said she had no part of it, and I believe her. If you heard how upset she was, so would you. That leaves all detect. Maybe they leaked it. But why call attention to their problems like that? Well, if you can't defend yourself, attack. Yeah, they figure the word's gonna get out anyway. That way they can spin it to their benefit. Make Eve seem like some kind of disgruntled employee. And if their stock goes down, which it would have anyway, they can just blame us. Hmm. Huh. Excuse and me? And good. Straight over there. Great. What's going on here? You asked all to deck for documents? They gave you documents. Careful what you wish for, eh? Oldest tactic in the book. Bury you in paperwork. And we gotta go through every single scrap of it. Looks like she changed the play on you, Romeo. <laughs> Uh, yep. Beat me at my own game. <laughs> so, find anything? Oh yeah, company softball and picnic memos. Transcripts of meaningless meetings. In duplicate. Payroll records for every janitor and maintenance guy in the building. Oh, I've got the good stuff. I've got petty cash receipts. Five years worth. Email printouts. All these people must do is sit at their computers and chat. Well, they also have press conferences. As a matter of Eve Gaylord, I want to make something very clear. She was dismissed purely for performance reasons. She wasn't doing the job. We have well-documented evidence of that. If the FBI would simply look into her history, we believe they'd find these allegations to be without merit. I can't get into specifics. Let me simply say, we believe they would find psychological issues in her past. That is such a lie. Gee, you think? Carefully chosen words to smear without being open to slander. I'm beginning to really dislike these guys. You've got company, girlfriend. Hey, look who's here. It's the surveillance expert. You guys find a practice field yet? I can't believe you came in here. Well, some things are worth it. Besides, I figured if I'm gonna be a sucker, I might as well be a good sport about it. If you'll accept it, I'd, I'd really like to apologize for the other day. That was, that was just a dumb jerk move. As opposed to walking into the enemy team's camp, which is merely dumb. You get points for bravery. <laughs> How many points does a guy need to earn a second chance? you want to take me out to dinner? <laughs> I got it right. So what do you say? I guess that would be okay. How's Thursday? Fine. Great. I'll, uh, I'll call you. We'll set up the details. Yeah. See you guys on the weekend. Did you just make a date with the enemy? I hope so. Tell me you are not going out with that DEA reprobate. Oh, don't worry, Coach. I've had hostage training. He won't get any secrets out of me. Hey, everybody. I know, I know. Back to the uh, paper chase. No, no, I think I found something. What was the name of that friend of Eve's who worked at Alta Tech? Mr. Banning? Seems you knew more about Grennan than you were telling us. We found a document that places you in a meeting with Timothy Parks. It's all about income with Justin for one of the Grennan partnerships. He's got your signature on it. Tell us all that you know, and we can probably keep you out of jail. Please, don't do this to me. You don't know these people. If you help us take them down, then there'll be nothing to be afraid of. It's them that we want, not you. Can you give me a little time? I have to find a way to break this to my family. I can give you until tomorrow, but I'll expect to see you in my office by the end of the day. Okay. Well, I've got some evidence from the documents. You have a couple of credible witnesses. 
Not a home run, but a solid double off the wall. I'll take it. We're going to want a full immunity for Banning. Well, if he cooperates down the line and his testimony is solid, I think it's possible. Looks like we're in business. Uh, maybe not. Just got word from the police in Arlington. Harold Banning was found dead in his car this morning. They're saying it looks like suicide. I don't believe he killed himself, and neither do I. What do you think? I don't know. And neither do the experts. I'm worried about Eve. If it wasn't a suicide, she could be next on the list. We'll be okay. This is my fault. On behalf of my management team, I would like to thank you all for recognizing me as Executive of the Year. Guys, it's contagious. Anything? They're talking about a golf tournament. Anybody find anything? Not that we can use, like reading the phone book from cover to cover. In Chinese. We need someone who can speak the language. These link Ultratech executives with any mention of the Grenin partnerships. And this is all the financial data. And these are memos and emails sorted by priority and frequency. You've been busy. You've worked there. Maybe you can find something we haven't. I'll try. Thank you for doing everything you've done. I admire you, and uh, I know this must be hard. It's such a strange environment inside that company. Everything gets so turned around. Things a 10-year-old could tell you are wrong somehow become okay, become part of the accepted culture. Greed is a powerful force. I just got off the phone with the U.S. Attorney's Office. Altitech filed briefs with the government. They're saying there was financial misconduct involving a couple of their partnerships. So they're admitting it? Not exactly. They're accusing Eve of misconduct. There were accounts that she worked on. The idea that I masterminded the accounting strategies is ridiculous. I never had that kind of access or power. It's a ploy. It shows how scared they must be. Or maybe how unafraid they really are. You know, they lie. Cheat, steal. They even kill somebody and they get away with it. Their hotshot attorneys are going to twist everything around. They're going to make me look like someone you wouldn't trust to shine your shoes. To defend myself, I'm going to need to hug my own attorneys. I can't afford that and they know it. That's why they're doing it. You didn't get a look at a face. You know a license plate? I, I know I saw a silver late model sedan. Wouldn't put it past him. Good job, buddy. Take the rest of the day off and uh, take her with you. No, thanks. If you need anything, you know where I'll be. You have a visitor again. Oh my gosh, God. It's Thursday. I completely forgot. Anything classified that the, the DEA shouldn't see? <laughs> cool. Take your mind off work for a, a night. Clear your head. This will all still be here tomorrow. So you didn't care for the food? It was good. I just wasn't very hungry. 
I hope it wasn't the company. I'm the one who's not very good company tonight. Sorry. You got a case eating at you, huh? Been there, done that. The old everything that happened was my responsibility train. Here it is. Your teammates can relax. You spent the whole evening without giving up any football secrets. At least not so far. At the risk of sounding like a traitor, if we don't win the game, I hope you do. This has been really nice. I had a really good time. Me too. call from someone inside the company. I don't even know who. They said that if I pack up and go, they will drop the whole thing. The mudslinging, the suit. That's blackmail. That's reality. I have my family to think about. I can't do this anymore. I came to say goodbye. I'm going back to Colorado. That's where I'm from. They won. One of our sources has committed suicide, supposedly, and the other is walking away. We've issued subpoenas, executed searches, and done countless interviews, and still we have no hard evidence. We're nowhere. I don't see how we can keep going on with this. They're getting rich while other people lose everything, and we're letting them get away with it? Thomas. Well, I'm not. I can't. I'm not going to watch them destroy Eve just because she stood up and told the truth. There's a needle somewhere in that haystack, and I'm going to find it, no matter how long it takes. Well, boy, it looks like it's you and me. I love a good haystack. Room for one more. in finance. This is personal. Is somebody going to hand me a box? Miles, if you were anyone else, I would kiss you right now. If you were anyone else, I might let you. Somebody give Miles a kiss. I think he found our needle. Levi? Oh. It's all right. Hey there, Sam. Got a minute? Yeah, sure. What do you want? Well, just a friendly chat. 
about a memo dated September 7th. Apparently, you were in a meeting with Timothy Parks and Brian Wells. Fascinating little discussion you had, mate, in regard to uh, stock manipulation, propping up profits with the partnerships long enough to get the stock sold. Some very detailed notes you took, mate. Excellent penmanship. Your third grade teacher would be oh, proud. Gee, you know what? You're in a fair bit of strife. Come on, I'm, I'm just a manager. I didn't make the decisions. No, but you were in the room when the decisions were made. Your pals Parks and Wells were very smart about insulating themselves. Their signatures don't show up on any incriminating documents. Yours does. Maybe you'd like to tell us how those meetings went. Okay, so what are you saying? There's a deal here? Deal of a lifetime for you. I would like formally to announce the formation of a signature branding division at Altitec, which will fall under the masterful hand of Executive VP, Timothy Parks. Oh. Thank you. The new Asian division, which we'll call Dynasty, will come online next month, and we are expecting big things. I'm pleased to report that the initial offerings on our stock are estimated at well above $120 per share. Great stuff. We would now like to throw the floor open for questions and comments. Yes, um, I have a question. Jeez, man. Um, are you aware that your accounting practices have managed to bury nearly a billion dollars worth of losses with fancy footwork and smoke screens over the last year? I think the gentleman is mistaken. Oh, and I'm no gentleman, mate. I'm Special Agent Manning at the FBI. And uh, I have a few friends of my own that I'd like to introduce. Folks, sorry to interrupt, but the uh, party's over in uh, more ways than one. Brian Wells and Timothy Parks, you're both under arrest for violations of the Securities Act and obstruction of justice. This is an outrage. It certainly is. He thinks this is bad, wait till he finds out we've frozen all of his personal assets and accounts. The terms forfeiture and illegally gotten gains mean anything to you. You can't do that. Can and did. No good public defender. Is there any truth to these allegations? How much money are you talking about? Mr. Wells, what's this get Mr. Wells. Mr. Wells, what's this get Hey, is the company ever going to make money? I'd like to ask you a question. You've won, you. Get ready to wear the big L, pretty boy, because there is no way you are going home with murder. Bring it on, G Man, let's go. Come on. Oh man, what is this? She's not right. She's not FBI. Yeah, she's FBI. You can't tell me that. She works Come in the on. office. She no. works in the office. I busted her a month ago. Yeah, it's, it's a rehabilitation program we're, we're using. Absolutely, it's a rehabilitation. Oh, come on. Oh, this is too. What's up? Uh, they challenged Jarvis' paperwork. Ref says she's out. Don't look at me, Bobby recruited her. Well, I guess we'll have to call in our sub then. Great. Hey, Thomas, you're in. We're dead. Shouldn't it be you? Are you kidding? I try to avoid any possibility of collision if there's no airbags. Break a leg. Don't say that. It could happen. All right, this is it, people. We hold them here, and it's over. So let's just remember, who captured John Dillinger? 
who has stood up to every bully and thug on the most wanted list and upheld the laws of this land every time there was a challenge. Was it the DEA? Oh, no. no! No, it was not! We are the FBI. So come on. Let's do it! Thomas! I haven't asked you to do this all day. But now I'm asking. For the good of the Bureau. For the good of the country. What play is your boyfriend calling? It's not cheating. It's... It's simply making use of every tool available to us. That's what winning teams do. Post pad at the barns on three. Post pad at the barn. Bring it on, pretty boy. 357! 357! Hut! 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 Way to go, Sue Thomas. Congratulations. That was some play you made out there. You'd been making sure that I couldn't see in the huddle all day then, and the last play it opened up. And you called a fake play and made sure I saw it. You got me again. I knew Leland would have you reading my lips. But consider this. Maybe I knew you wouldn't buy it. Made it just like it was you and me out there. I kind of like that feeling. Well, well, well. I see the games are just beginning. I'm not sure I know the rules on this one. Easy there, brother. Yeah, yeah. What, what are you people standing around here for? The game's about to start. Yeah, and we're taking you there right now. Okay, I gotta get going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Coming back home. <laughs> 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 <laughs>